retail arbitrage alert at Kroger. If y'all have any NFL teams nearby and um, you go to your Kroger, they're doing a big clear out because the season's about ending. And here at mine, uh, they just did 90%. So I just gutted them out and I'll show you. All right, so here you go. They're doing 90% off and literally everything that was worthy of like resale for me, I cleaned them out and I spent 50 bucks and I'll show you the receipt. But um, I'll do the quick math on it and let you know what I expect to make on profit after listing everything uh, either locally or on eBay. Easy shippers too, and I'll show you. Okay, so I am back from Kroger. I got everything spread out here on the table. Kind of get an idea of everything that I picked up. There's like 11 of those pennants, four of these license plates covers, a whole bunch of these like buttons. There's eight in each bag and there's like 10 of them. These, I guess they're little stickers that you put on your face, decals, 11 of those. Four of these beer koozies. Who doesn't like a cold beer while watching the game? Seven of these, like, they're pretty heavy too, magnets. And then three of these, like, die cut stickers that you put on the back of a car or whatever. And here is full transparency. Here's the receipt. You'll see all down. Like, normally they're like, 11, 12, whatever dollars each, 90% off. So there's my total, 49. And I did a very modest, rudimentary guesstimate on what I can expect. So of the 11 pennants, I put 10 bucks each. I think I'm not gonna try to overprice it. And keep in mind, I'm not gonna sell all rapid fire, so I'll probably keep these in a bin in my storage and just do a quick listing with um, a volume of 11 for each one, and then just wait for them to sell, probably when uh, NFL season comes back around. But altogether, if things go as planned, $365 for everything on the table, and I spent 50. So that's $315 profit when everything sells, but I'm pretty sure that um, I'll get my money back pretty quick just off of the initial wave of sales since I'll be probably the only one and I didn't see any other listed. I saw some that were sold because of the season that was going on, but that's what I got from the retail arbitrage at my Kroger. Y'all should keep in mind that it's not gonna be Texans, it's gonna be other teams wherever you're at. So there's a good chance that your team was a lot better than the Texans this year. So you might be able to find some of this stuff that they're closing out for a team that is more desirable right now that people are actively buying stuff for and probably even get more. Like maybe a pennant like that would be worth 20 instead of I put $10 on it. And then the license plates, etc. And then who knows? Wish y'all luck, wanted to make sure I had this video. Now I'm going up to the computer and finishing up this video with my auction results so you can see how I'm making money that way. All right, I'm cutting into the video right at about three minutes until all my items start uh, landing and uh, ending. So those are two bar stools. I got those for free. They're currently at $12. Every time you hear a ding, that means that somebody made a bid, just so you know. And I'm on a site called High Bid. And um, there's, it's a local auction house. There's a few in the neighborhood, but um, we'll see here. So just to let you know, this is kind of how I make my money. These uh, bar stools, which they're going up, keep moving on me. They're at 12, I got those for free. Those fishing nets I got for free. That circular saw I got for free. Those storage organizers I got for free. Saws I got for free. Machetes I got for free. This wet dry vac, I'm not gonna let it go for nothing. So I put in um, a bid to buy it back for myself. It's currently at $12, even though I expect it to go for higher. Um, these pottery, man, keep an eye out for those. There's up to $45. And they're the um, terracotta, like ceramic pots, I guess. Remember that? There's your mineral oil lamp. It's only at $84. A metallic milk can. This right here I'm disappointed on. This uh, vintage Coleman cool, uh, three burner stove. 
That's why I'm buying it back if no one bids. Let's see where we're at, guys. All right, I got four minutes left. 40 seconds left on the net, the nets. And if it flashes, you know someone just put in a bid. Let's see here. All right. And at the end of all of this, once all of them close, I'll give you a rundown of kind of what was uh, the final total, what I was invested on all these items, which is I think at like $54, $55 all in to make how much, and then I have to remember uh, to take out 40% is what they get on their commission structure. And then, all right, the Nets just ended at $8. The circular saw is ending um, in 18 seconds for $18, unless someone bids on it. Doesn't look like it. Usually it'll flash in the last two or three seconds. Oh, $18 for that saw, but not bad for free. See, someone just bid on those storage containers. So what it does is it refreshes. See how now it's at four minutes? So someone can't really snipe it at the end. Oh, there goes the mineral oil lamp. It's up at 109. So somebody knows the value of those. Thank God. Maybe a couple resellers that uh, don't mind doing the shipping or taking the old oil out. Another one, there it went, 119. Mineral oil lamp is in play here, guys. Let's see how high it goes. See how it refreshes it now to six minutes while others are like in a minute left. All right, some hand saws. A lot of people use those for decor purposes. Um, and they'll put them in their shop or whatever. So there, it ended at $4. It really wasn't a big. These machetes, just vintage old rusty machetes, $16. I didn't think they'd go that high. I was thinking like 10 bucks or so, but hey, I will take it. That wet dry vac, I'm sh surprised it's only going for 12. So 60% um, goes back to me, 40%. So 12 times 40% is only five bucks, $4.80. So for $4.80, I'll take it back. That's fine. I'll use it around the house or use it to vacuum out my car or that type of stuff. We'll see. Depends. Someone might make a last second bid on it. What do you all think? Yep, there it goes. It's at 14. Yeah, but I got, it refreshed it now to four minutes. So I'm going to see what happens with it if anybody else bids. Yep. Mineral oil lamp, 129. I know the ladies that work at the auction house, they told me they, were, they wanted these planters. So we'll see if they end up bidding on it like they said they were. Not bad for free though. Three pots, $45, 15 bucks each. That's pretty good. All right, what's next? That's me because I refuse to let that go. This is kind of like a bolo item. It's a little awkward to ship, but this Coleman three burner stove, they didn't do a good job with the pictures or the description and I was pretty disappointed in it, but um, you'll see. I put some screenshots of some sold comps on eBay. And even though they might have been in better condition, there is no way in heck that it's not worth at least 50 bucks in comps. So I um, am willing to pay $4 back to the auction house and um, keep that and then resell it online. I figured I'd give them a shot first without having to do the whole eBay thing. Let me see here. Um, what is going to go next here? Three, one... If anything flashes, that's a good sign. Um, the little organizers up top, looks like those are about to go next. These guys, that was a freebie. That's a little like rolling dolly that you put furniture on or something. 
So I'll get six bucks, they take four bucks. That's fine, I needed to make space. I actually have a couple more of those in my, my new unit that I just organized, if y'all saw the previous video. So I'll bring probably bring those over too and sell them as a pair, maybe get 20 bucks on them, we'll see. All right, so that's off the agenda. This organizer is about to end at 18. Unless someone tries to, in their eyes, make a last second bid. Nope, that's a pretty good deal. Those are pretty um, useful. Um, I don't know. The wet dry back, what do y'all think? 14, so that means that I would get 40%, so $7.20. You know what? I think I wanna bid on that again. Let's see if it lets me bid. Confirm bid. No, nope, I'm out bid. I'll do one more. All right. Those two I'm willing to take back. That milk can canister, that was free. That's at 25. Where are we at? 14 on the bar stools. Yeah, I'm willing to, there goes, someone bumped it up on the Coleman. Someone knows what the value is. They're just trying to get it for cheap. I guess I can't blame them. Yep, see, they just bing dinged it again. I don't know, I'm in it for five bucks. So, and I put a minimum of like 21. So that's my max. It's probably gonna ding again. We'll see what they do. 129. Oh, we got the mineral oil lamp is at 129. Now it's at 139 and see how it refreshed. I'm hoping that all it takes is two people y'all to go against each other and then that thing will end up to like 200, 250, we'll see. 16 bids, that's a good sign though. Um, 18, I don't know. I think I'll keep the vacuum. I think I'll let the stove go if someone bids it up past my threshold. All right, the bar stools and then the milk container are about to go. Let's do the bar stools first. At 14. Keep in mind, I got these for free, so 60% of 14, so like $10, and they'll keep the $4. Okay, bar stools closed at that much. Metal, $25, okay. The next to go for me is gonna be, here's our final three, guys. All right. A wet dry vac, the mineral oil lamp, and the vintage three burner stone by Coleman. I expect that Coleman to get one more bid and that'll take that into the red. Because I'm currently, I think I put 21 as like the maximum or the minimum I would take. And that's why I'm thus winning it right now. Um, 139, so if I do the quick math on that, 60% of 30, 60 times 13, so that's right around $80 for me and $50 for them. I still ended up profiting. Um, I don't know if you all saw the previous video way back when I had got this. Uh, Tanya actually found that at a estate sale or garage sale. She picked it up, and I ended up purchasing it from her because she was done having it in her booth and um, she just you know wanted to have the shelf space for other stuff and she didn't want to mess with the oil and shipping it or whatever and I gave her 50 so I was in it for 50 and uh, making a slight profit can't complain but it's off my shelves now and out of my hair as far as trying to mess with it somebody still I hopefully goes to a good home because that was pretty cool it lit up and it actually did work 
as far as the mineral oil going down the little strands of clear wire, I think it was like fishing string or something, but um, where are we at? 51 seconds on the wet dry vac. Alright, 20 bucks. We bought it back, so I paid out of that $20, 40%, I paid $8 for a wet dry vac. That's fine with me. What do y'all think? You think there's gonna be another bid on the mineral oil lamp? That was not for me, that was next door. We want to see a flash, and then the time will refresh. 10 seconds. There it is, that's what it went for, 139 for the mineral lamp. I'm really surprised that there wasn't a reseller that knew about that, that would have um, bid at least 40 bucks on it. But like I said, the, the auction house, they, they kind of dropped the ball on my uh, listing here because they did not put any pictures that um, showed the model, they didn't show the open of the, they didn't even open up the, the, the three burners or anything and show anything, so. Oh, well that was what happened now uh, I'm gonna stop here I'm gonna pull up what the results were of all my auction items calculate everything show you all the profit that I made that way y'all can consider if you want to if you don't want to if you want to just purge some inventory locally you just find out in your area where there's a high bid and then just register and then find um, a local place that has the auctions like this and then drop it off and then see what their commission structure is and negotiate if you have to because sometimes they're, uh, they're worthy of negotiation. Sometimes it could be 20%, 30%, 40%. It all depends on what type of items you're bringing in. Um, like, for example, I know that jewelry and gold and silver and all that type of stuff, they will charge less on a commission structure because they really want those type of items and they realize that you know, you're, you have a choice. You don't have to use them, you can use someone else. So they kind of cut, they kind of cut each other's throats as well. So let me go cut here and then um, I'll do some calculations and give you the ending total of what I made. All right, so ignore my handwriting. I'll preface that first. But here we go. These are all the sales. 14, 8, 18, 18, 4, 16, 45, 139, 25, 10. All right. For a total of $297 in sales. I ended up buying back the Coleman stove and the shop back. So the fees that I had to pay for that are $7.20 and $8. So here we go. 297 in sales. Minus fifteen dollars in buyback, minus twelve dollars on the item post, and what they do is they charge you a dollar per item to do a post. So that's a twelve dollar hit. So two ninety seven minus the twenty seven twenty equals two sixty nine. Now this auction house takes forty percent from me. Some others are different, so don't think that that's normal, um, that every single auction place that you'll find on high bid does 40%, sometimes they're 30. It's a matter of just having that personal discussion and contact with them to negotiate and find out what their structure is. So, 269.80 minus the 40% is $161 left in my pocket. And if I deduct my $55, which is the cost of goods. I spent 50 for the mineral oil lamp and I spent $5 for the stove. So that leaves me with $106.88 profit. And that is something that, you know, I'm trying to get on a weekly basis. It's a uh, weekly auction. So, you know, if I can do $400 a month, and then have this auction house plus another local auction house that I'm using. So if I can get an extra, you know, I'd say between five to a thousand dollars extra per month on top of 
all the other eBay sales that I do and the booth at the Alvin Antique Mall. It's all about having different revenue streams pulling in at the same time. So there's my transparency. On this auction, profit, I made $106.88. And um, that's about it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching this far. Don't forget, hit the like button. If you like uh, learned anything, really means a lot to me on the algorithm, etc. Uh, as I try to build a channel. Take care, guys. Peace.